Hello and welcome once more to Red Gaming Tech, my name is Amata, today is still the 1st of May and this time I'm bringing you a little bit of discussion as yet another developer has spoken out against the Xbox One parity clause and this time it comes from Curve Studios, who of course the developer of Stealth Inc 2 and this came from the marketing manager Rob Clark and he basically called the Xbox One parity clause a shame and basically claims that most of the games industry wants it gone. He then went on to explain why it is that despite the fact that Curve Studios is set to release three new titles on PS4 later this year and is also working on Stealth Inc. 2 as a Wii U exclusive, we're yet to hear any news of any Xbox One projects coming from them. And the reasoning behind this was, quote, for us, it's an annoyance. It's preventing us from bringing some of the older stuff through and doing what we want. There's 40 of us and we're still saying we should be able to work around it. So you can imagine how hard it is for smaller developers in one and two man teams who are focused with having to release on PlayStation and Xbox simultaneously. We'll hopefully be on Xbox One at some stage. We've been with ID at Xbox since launch. We weren't in the initial announcement only because it conflicted with something going on with Sony at the time. We've had the kits for a long time and we've been talking to them about for a long time about Xbox One. Almost six months. Hopefully we'll get there soon but then there's that because we're big enough to handle the launch parity thing. Hopefully Microsoft will drop it. They've been told by a lot of the industry it better be it would be better if they did, but they haven't yet. It's a shame. The frustrating thing for a lot of developers is they have dropped it for a lot of people, but it's not very clear why. Is it a case of size? Is it a case of how well you know people at the company? It's not a great way to treat indies because they see it as being unbalanced. I went to a UK IE talk about how to get your game on Microsoft systems, and a lot of the reaction seemed to be the demand was there among developers, but it just isn't clear. So you guys are probably aware by now, as many sites have touched on this, including this one, I myself have discussed this topic many times, the parity clause basically insists that developers can only use ID at Xbox to publish on the Xbox One if the title hasn't come out on another console. So basically it has to come out on the PS4 slash PC, or it both obviously even, um, and the Xbox One at the same time, or the Xbox One first. So... You can see why that would cause problems for the reasons that he's discussed and I myself have pointed these things out many many times and I'm not an indie developer. I don't know as much about the ins and outs of development as of course Rob Clark does have been working for Curve Studios for quite some time but even I can see the problems here. You know, um, what if you are just a two-man team? You're not going to have the resources to do both at the same time. You know, what if you already decided, yeah, we want to do PS4 and you started with the PS4 first or you even started with PC first because, hey, that you wanted to, PC is the biggest platform for indie games with Steam and all the rest of it. So let's get onto PC first and, oh, wait, no, we want to get onto the next gen, but we can't do that because they want, don't want it to be on PC and... Phew, my head just exploded. You can kind of get the idea of what I'm going at here. I've discussed this topic quite a few times now and I just don't see why this is even here. It just seems like a needless barrier to entry. If they're trying to get some sort of quality control, that's understandable, but I don't see how this is this is achieving that, to be honest. All it seems to be doing is, of course, trying to get the exclusives. And don't get me wrong, I completely understand that exclusives are quite important, but making it, it this exist doesn't make these indie studios have the resources and to be honest I would easily argue that an indie game exclusive is not going to be what sells your system now a lot of them yes but to be honest it's going to be for the AAA games and the indie games are going to be a nice bonus for a lot of people so I don't know to be honest I agree with him and many other developers who've spoken out against the Xbox One parity clause and you know, to be honest, there's nothing to do with Microsoft. If Sony were doing this, I'd be saying exactly the same thing. If Steam were doing this, if Bob down the street was doing this, I would say the same thing. It's the principle of the matter. It just seems to put a needless barrier to entry when it seems to be, you know, they want to welcome indies, but they want them to do a few tricks and, you know, maybe sit down for their treat and get a pat on the head first. So, I don't know. Bit of a shame, but at the moment is still sticking around despite many developers speaking out against it but hopefully we can cross our fingers and hope for the best and it will be removed in the future but i don't know we'll have to see anyway that is me done for this video thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time